In today's video, I'm gonna share five agencies you can start that are not marketing agencies or short form content agencies. Sun Tzu's The Art of War, fight the enemy on territory that they are unfamiliar with. If you want to win, the single best strategy is to find a niche, a service, or be in a place where nobody else operates, where you have full control and full monopoly over the entire market just because nobody thought to be different. Today, I'm not gonna walk you through how to position your marketing agency or your short form content agency. What I'm gonna do is share with you five potential agencies you could start that I've literally just come up with in, in a matter of seconds here. By doing this, I want to start to inspire you to come up with your own unique ideas so that you can create markets for yourself and so that nobody competes with you and you have your pick of the litter or pick of the bunch when it comes to clients and you never have to fight for clients, all right? So let's get started, it's pretty simple. So I want you to imagine two circles that overlap. In one circle, you have your skills and your interests. And on the other circle, you have your niche and their problems. There's gonna be an overlap between these two points. And that overlap is where money can be made, where you understand how to solve someone's problem, or you have a skill or an interest or a desire to learn something that can help someone. You have to understand there's more ways to add value and make money in business than just helping people get customers. The reason social media marketing is so popular is because the need is prevalent for every single business ever. Business owners have other problems that they're well aware of that they will happily pay for you to solve. So what I'm gonna do in this video is walk you through a few examples that I think you can use. Now, I haven't tested these. These are ones that I literally came up with in 30 seconds based on the old market I was in. I'm not suggesting you start these agencies. I'm suggesting that you use them as inspiration to notice that there are other problems that you can solve. So the definition of an agency in this business sense is a group of people or a person that is contracted to solve a problem or provide an outcome. The traditional agency that we know in these days is marketing because it's very popular, it's very common. But there's lots of other agencies out there that fly under the radar that make millions and millions and millions of dollars every single year without having any competition. So I'm gonna take the gym niche, for example, here. And what I'm gonna do in, in this video is give you some examples that I may consider starting in the gym niche. I'm not gonna start these because I've already got a company, it makes $500,000 a month in peer acquisition, blah, 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 you know the drill, right? Um, but let's go and let's get started. So let's use the gym niche. Now, you might be in a different niche right now. Maybe you work with lawyers, dentists, or e-commerce businesses. There's all sorts of different things. And you might have asked yourself, what sort of services should I be offering to these businesses? And you've probably seen that through the lens of marketing. Should I do SEO? Should I do Facebook ads? Should I do YouTube ads? Should I do CRO? Should I do email marketing? Should I do short form? Should I do this? Should I do that? Let's take a second to break the paradigm and to forget that we're marketers and to try and attach ourselves to a different type of agency. I've got some examples, right? So number one, so I've got a friend called Arturo. Um, if you're watching this, Arturo, you're a legend, but he helps a specific niche hire virtual assistants and they pay him a upfront fee and maybe a retainer, I'm not quite sure how it works, for him to come in and source cheap labor that can run their admin tasks. So that's an example of an agency you could start and he does very well with it, whereby you take a niche and you find out what problems they've got and what tasks they don't like doing that they would want to outsource and you go and you say, hey, I will happily place someone to do this for you because I know you hate doing it and I will charge you this amount of money to make the pain go away and it will be gone forever. That's an example of an agency you could start. It's not traditional. It's not a traditional marketing agency. But what do we say the definition of an agency was? It's a person or a group of people that solve a specific problem or help a business achieve an outcome that they wish to have, which could be outsourcing something, right? So that's an example. Let's go and think even, even further outside the box because we don't, maybe you don't want to become a recruiting or a placement agency for certain roles, but let's get outside of the box for a second. So I thought about the gym niche, right? I'm gonna give you four examples. I don't want you to start these businesses. Maybe you want to start them. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna work or not because I haven't tried. But here's a couple of things that I thought of that might be viable in the gym niche. Most gyms have a problem of, of getting more customers. It's one of the most painful problems. That's why there's so many businesses that start around it. What I can also tell you is a lot of gyms have a problem finding good qualified coaches to run their classes, specifically CrossFit gyms or group training style gyms or franchises that do group training. So maybe you could start an agency and you go to gyms and you say, hey, I'm very good at sourcing highly qualified coaches for your members that aren't gonna charge you a huge amount of money. Would you be interested in me coming in, sourcing people for you, interviewing them, and making sure they're the right fit for your gym, and then giving you a list of them and you can pay me if you hire one of them. I'll charge a finder's fee and then maybe you pay me $500 a month as long as they're on board with you or something. There's an example of an agency you could start that nobody else does. You you go maybe specifically to CrossFit gyms and your message is, hi, my name's Charlie. You don't know who I am, but I'm an expert in sourcing qualified level two coaches for CrossFit gyms. You only pay me when I find someone that's the perfect fit for your gym. I'll do the interview and everything. All you have to do is talk to them to see if they're the right fit. They'll be in your area. Let me know if that's a good thing. And maybe that would be an agency you start. And then you charge, I don't know, like 5K to you know source one of these people or something like that. And then maybe you branch out into hiring other different roles, or maybe you also do training for the coaches as well. Maybe you have an agency that trains CrossFit 
CrossFit coaches on how to find CrossFit jobs and CrossFit gyms. There are so many problems that you can solve and value is created when pain is alleviated. So this is the key thing, the key rule to business is we know to make money, we have to add value. But to add value, we have to remove pain. So the addition of value comes from the removal of pain. And most people see this through the lens of marketing. But they're like, oh, the, if I just get some more customers, they're not gonna have any pain, so I'll get paid. But there's lots of other problems you can solve. So that's the first two, right? Potentially hiring virtual assistants for someone or you know, sourcing qualified coaches for gyms, right? Just, just an example. Three, maybe you go to gyms, they're quite successful, they're making a good amount of money, they're very profitable, but they've only got one location. And you go to gyms like that and you say, hey, my name's Charlie and I'm an expert in helping single location gyms that are thriving find their second or third location. And I will I will find the location for you. You tell me what you're looking for. I will go out. I will find exactly what you need, exactly what you want. I'll go through all the legal documents. You know, the, the thing with coming up with these ideas is don't worry too much about the service delivery because you can learn it all. You can become an expert in basically anything. You look at anyone's career path, they start as like students and then over a few years, they become experts in, in mortgages or consulting or lawyers or accountants or dentists. You can learn anything. So don't, you know, the person who thinks, oh, I'm going to become a dentist when they're 18, they don't worry that they don't know how to pull teeth because they know they're going to learn it, right? So when you're coming up with these ideas, you don't want your creativity to be inhibited by your logic, right? Which is what usually happens with, with people. Similar to me, perhaps, where you're always thinking about problems before you even have the idea. So that's another example. You go to gyms, your message is, if you're a successful single location gym, I will help you find your second or third location and you only pay me when I find you your dream location or something like that. You know, you could charge them, you know, five figures, multi five figures to find the ideal location within a certain radius of them. And maybe that's not a practical business. Maybe there's a hundred holes you could poke in it. But the point of this video is to get you to think outside the box. All right. So number four, what if you started an on-demand gym specific cleaning agency? You go to gyms in certain areas and you say, hey, my name's Charlie and I run a cleaning business and we work specifically with your type of gym and we deal with specifically this type of equipment and we do this and we do this and we do this with the chalk bags and we do this with the mirrors and you know we take care of this and blah 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 blah. I don't know if that's a good idea or not but once again it's it's a problem that these gym owners solve you know it's like you know we'll even come in after every single class and clean because of COVID or whatever that looks like you know sure there's going to be other cleaning agencies out there but gym specific cleaning agencies with gym specific equipment knowledge etc etc maybe not once again may not be viable but it should you should be getting the point here there's more ways to make 10 grand a month than you can possibly think of profitably as well way more ways than just doing marketing agencies and running Facebook ads. And the beautiful thing about these models is you don't need a huge amount of clients. Maybe not everyone's going to be interested, but you don't need a huge amount of clients because you're in a market of one. It's just you. You're the only person offering this thing. Your advantage comes from, you know, unknown territory, right? And you know, let's go over the fifth one. So what if you went to gyms that competed, right? So you find CrossFit competitions, maybe martial arts gyms, and you said, hey, I run an agency and we specifically deliver healthy meals to your top athletes. You know, then you they'd be like, oh, how does it work? And you'd be like, well, we do this. You know, and then you might be thinking, oh, but the logistics of that, I can't work online. I can't do the laptop lifestyle. You know, maybe that's not the right fit for you. But the point I want you to start to realize is that value is correct when pain is alleviated, but pain doesn't always come from a lack of customers. There are more problems that you can solve than you can possibly imagine. And there will be an overlap in the intersection between your niche and their problems and your skills and your interests. Because you might have no interest in Facebook advertising. You may you may hate marketing, but maybe you're really interested in your niche. You know, there's all sorts of examples and different things you can do. Hell, why don't you start an agency? I don't know, let's say you're really interested in music and you know, you want to work with budding artists, right? You're, you're, that's what you're passionate about. Okay, well, I run an agency that helps budding artists who are talented find labels. I don't know, they, they maybe they exist, maybe they don't. You know, but when you look at groups of people or niches, they will there will be a pattern or a fractal of a problem. But that problem or that issue creates pain across like the entire market. And if you come in and you can solve that problem and you truly can do it better than anybody else and you have a unique message and a unique perspective, then you'll find it extremely easy to acquire clients and scale the business and make six, multi-six, maybe even seven figures purely because you thought outside the box and you were just a little bit different. <laughs> you know, because then you can even say like, I know you receive emails from marketing agencies all the time, but have you ever received an email from a cleaning agency? There's so many different options that you've got. You know, if you ever, like I'm an agency and I specifically deal with treadmill maintenance for, you know, franchises. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Like you might not be interested in it at all. So maybe that's not the right idea, but I want you just as a thought exercise to look at your niche, understand their problems, think about what you're interested in and what you'd be willing to learn and see if there is an overlap in these intersections. Because I'm telling you that marketing is getting harder. The SMOA space is not going to get easier. It's going to get harder, my friend. And it's not for the faint hearted. It's getting significantly more difficult to acquire clients, to deliver results. The, the bar is raising, you know, the 
pay-on results wave is upon us, the commission wave is upon us, we can no longer charge $1,000 retainers and just shut our eyes and tap a few buttons on Facebook ads. No, 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 my friend, it now requires significantly more painful work than that. The golden era is gone. <laughs> still viable, you can still make 10, 20, 30, 100 grand a month with an agency, you just have to be cut out for it. And that's a good thing because it means that the cream rises to the top and people that deserve to succeed do succeed. But at the same time, maybe there's something else sat right under your nose that you're not aware of that could be the right fit. If you need help getting more clients, and you want to keep running a marketing agency or you want to start another agency and get more clients there's a link in the description i advise you click it it's a video of me explaining how we can help you get more clients and how my company can systemize acquisition for you you don't have to click it i don't mind if you click it or not it's just a funnel it's designed to sell you something so it's up to you if you like the video it really helps me help you because when you like a video the algorithm will show you more videos like this as opposed to whether Andrew Tate's getting released or not. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You've seen those videos, you've seen that crap. It's drama, you don't need it. You just need more content that helps you, right? So like the video and if you subscribe, it would make my day. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Comment anything below. Talk to you later. Cheers.